This is a quick video, in which we list and explain, the various steps, in the public policy process. Welcome back, to Public Administration 101. Quick Lesson Edition, proudly brought to you by, Kano Consultants. For professional advice, you can trust. Before we continue, please check out, some of our other videos on this channel. Also make sure that you subscribe to our channel, for more videos. Now, let us get into today's video. Public policies by governments, are usually introduced by following a series of steps. These steps, may differ from one government to another. The basic steps will usually be as follows. 1. Identifying the issue, or problem that the government aims to address. 2. Setting the agenda. 3 drafting, and approving the public policy. 4. Implementing the approved public policy. 5. Evaluating the policy. The process starts with identifying, and defining what the issue to be addressed is. This identification can be done, in anticipation of a specific issue. For example where the government anticipates increased immigration into the country. The identification of the issue can also be done, in response to a specific need or issue. For example where an increase in crime is being noticed, the issues or challenges can be identified by government, or other stakeholders such as, non-government organizations, or, residents and citizens. The next step in developing a public policy, is ensuring that the issue, or challenge, is put on the agenda. This is where the identified problem, is formally placed on government's agenda, to be addressed by, the president, cabinet members, members of parliament, municipality or other relevant government institution. The setting of the agenda, can be done by, those directly affected by the issue. Such as ordinary residents, public representatives, non-governmental organizations. And by, those who are tasked with addressing the issue. Such as the political party in government at the time, opposition political parties, and public administrators. The next step in the public policy process, is actually formulating the policy. This is when the government starts the process of coming up with an approach, of how they intend to solve the identified issue. This process involves, an in-depth analysis of the issue, together with the alternative solutions, to address the issues. This analysis ensures that, the most effective approach, and solutions are adopted and that, such solutions are feasible. Government's approach, and solution, is then documented into a policy document. This can either be a legislation, a regulation, a departmental policy, or internal rules. Public comments are then solicited, and then incorporated into a final policy document. This final policy document, is then adopted, and approved by, the relevant government officials, or the appropriate level of government structure. The next step in the public policy process is, the policy implementation. This is when the government, carries out all the activities, necessary to ensure that the proposed solutions are realized. Implementing a public policy, can sometimes cause confusion. It is therefore important that governments ensure that, the approved policy contains, clear directives, on how such policy is to be implemented. The approved policy, also needs to identify, the government institution, and the officials responsible for this implementation process. The policy, must also be communicated, to the public, and the relevant institution, and public officials tasked with the responsibility for implementing it. And such communication, must be clear, and unambiguous. The communication must further involve an awareness campaign and public education regarding the policy. The implementation process should further identify, any changes to the existing processes, and status quo. Particularly regarding any disruption, and, or conflict. The implementation process, should also detail, how the policy implementation will be monitored, and what would constitute a successful implementation. The final step in the public policy process, is the evaluation stage. This is where an analysis and a review is performed, to check whether the policy, as implemented, is addressing the identified issues or the challenges, and whether the implementation process is proceeding well. 
It is during the evaluation stage that government, or any other interested stakeholder, assesses whether the implemented policy has succeeded or failed in addressing the issues first identified. The assessment will usually be based on a set of established standards. The evaluation stage will also assess the quality of the impact of the policy and whether the objectives of the policy have been achieved. It is during this stage that government needs to gather relevant information about whether or not to continue with a policy or with certain activities in the policy or change the direction. This video was proudly brought to you by Kano Consultants. For professional advice, you can trust. For more videos on public finance and public administration, make sure that you subscribe to our channel. You can also connect with us by following us on social media at Consult Kano or engage with us by leaving us a comment under this video. Or you can tag us on social media using the hashtag Consult Kano. Until next time, check out these other videos. And don't forget to join us again next time for another video. Thank you.